Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to set up the GCC compiler so that is using the, the GNU compiler as well so GCC is part of GNU, GNU and on your Mac. I'll show you how to do this on Linux and Windows as well so this will allow you to compile your C application using a terminal. So the first thing I recommend that you get hold of some sort of text editor. Technically on Mac you could just use you know notepad and no, it's not called notepad it's called text text edit sorry you could technically use something along these lines it's very basic you want something with some sort of syntax highlighting etc that's designed more for coding i recommend sublime so if you just google sublime text i'll provide a link to everything you need in the description let's go on to it download the latest version and once this downloads this is a good, gives you a zip file and once that downloads, we can open the zip file and actually install the application. Like I said, I've already got it, but I'll just show you, you know, the overall process. So, you know, I've covered everything in this tutorial. And the great thing about using the GCC compiler is based built in to Unix systems like Mac and Linux. And now with Windows, that's got some Linux stuff in there. You'll you'll be in there as well. There won't be that much effort to get it to work. So that's fantastic. So if you just open that, and we'll get this. You just drag and drop it into applications. I've already got it there, hence why I'll get this. So I'm just going to click stop, but you won't get this. And that's it. That's the only thing we actually really need to install. Now what we can do is, you know, compile the application. So I've got this website here, not mine, but programis.com. This is a basic generic hello world. If we copy that, if I open up Sublime, I like it maximized, paste it into here. Now if I press Command S, we can go to File, Save as well. And I'm going to go to Desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Test Application. I'm going to name this file main.c. As you can see, so it's named main.c and I'll create a test application folder there. Click save. And now what we want to do is actually run this to run it. We can minimize all this down. We want to open up terminal. So to do that, just go up here, type in terminal. And here we go. So let me actually zoom in a bit on here. So it's easier for you guys to see now. And now if I go to open up test application to compile this, you simply put GCC space. You can drag this on like so, click enter, it's compiled. Where has it compiled to? So this is a very basic way of doing it. This is not the way I recommend for the simple reason it's not all in one place. So this has compiled it to where your you know, terminal was initially pointed to. If I type in a PWD, working directory, that's the working directory, that's it right there. So if I select that, copy, and if I just go to finder, then I go to go to folder, paste it in here, click enter, and here we go. It automatically pumps it out as a dot out. I'm not going to run it yet because I want to show you the other different ways of, you know, producing your application. So let me get rid of this. And what I recommend is doing this. So I'm going to open this up fresh so you can just see how you know, simple it is. Let me zoom in again. And I say, I recommend typing CD, which stands for change directory, press space drag and drop this directory where your c file is the directory itself so now if i put in pwd it is pointing to the test application if i type in ls it shows me all the files inside of that folder which as of now is main.c and what we want to do is type in gcc main.c we don't need to put the exact path like when we were dragging and dropping the file because it's going to look within the folder that terminal is already pointing to click enter and 
And if we go to test application, there it is. To run that bad boy, you put dot four slash a dot out. And there we go, it runs. For some reason, I, I seem to get this weird percentage character when I run it like this. If I double click it, not in this way, but when I double click it, when you say Unix executable, it works better. So what I recommend is that you get rid of this and instead of running GCC space main.c, run GCC main.c space dash o, which is saying what the output file is going to be called. I'm going to put it test app. If you want spaces in between it, just you know put some quotations around it. And like so, you can do that as well. And that's it, you can put an extension. I'm gonna leave it, because it'll be a Unix executable by default. I click enter. There we go, and if I just double click this, it doesn't have any of those weird character bugs, and it's just a executable that we can you know, open at any time. So that is it. Obviously, if we was to modify this, and let's say put hello Bob instead, save that, minimize, and if I run this, it doesn't say hello Bob, and that's because you need to run this command again which will recompile your application so if i re run that command again it just overwrites it and there we go it says hello bob comma world so that's how you use the gcc compiler on a mac in terminal to compile c files if you have any questions feel free to message me and everyone else in the community on Discord, there'll be a link in the description. There's over three and a half thousand members now. There's always a two, three hundred you know, members online at any given time. So, and the programming channel is dedicated to helping out. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.